And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Temperatures this morning aren't too warm, but they will be warm as we move throughout the day today. We'll have another day of the 90s across the Snake River Plain. Right now across the Snake River Plain, we're seeing a mixture of the 50s and the 60s. It's 54 degrees right now in Blackfoot. It's 53 degrees in Idaho Falls. It's 62 degrees right now in Pocatello. Jackson, good morning. It's 46 degrees right now in your area. And across Charleston Salmon, seeing the 40s to even the lower 50s to start off the morning. Storm Tracker satellite and radar, we're seeing some clouds being picked up across the eastern Idaho any moisture looks like it's right in Nevada right now some of that moisture could creep across the southern snake highlands for today but it doesn't look like it will impact the snake River plane we're still going to be under that dominant weather pattern of that area of high pressure to our south which will really keep temperatures really hot as we move throughout the week looks like the 90s will continue any moisture we will see could creep in from Nevada again also in from Utah and that could also impact our area for some isolated thunderstorms for tomorrow but it looks like across the Snake River Plain, we will be dry to start off the work week. 9 o'clock this morning, not seeing much. We will be seeing some clouds build in by about 1 o'clock today, so overall skies will be partly cloudy across the Snake River Plain. Any moisture will say well to our south, even down south by Malad City. We could see a very isolated shower, but it looks like we'll remain clear for most of the day today across the Snake River Plain in terms of any precipitation. Looks like skies will be partly cloudy, and then across the central mountains and across the western half of Wyoming, Skies today will be mainly sunny. Temperatures throughout the morning generally will be in the 70s by about 9 o'clock. Moving into the afternoon hours, partly cloudy skies with highs once again in the 90s. Even into the early evening for tonight, it'll still be pretty warm in the 80s. Yesterday in Pocatello, we hit 91 degrees, so the streak continues. We're already seeing 19 days in the 90s, and it looks like the record is 22 days, and we are on track to break that as we move throughout the week. High temperatures today in the 90s once again will be 93 degrees degrees today in Pocatello, 92 degrees in Blackfoot, 90 degrees in Idaho Falls, Jackson, 83 degrees for your high temperature today, and across Charleston Salmon, seeing the low 90s as well, with mainly sunny skies across the central mountains. Looking ahead to this evening, skies will be mainly clear across the Snake River Plain with low temperatures generally in the 50s. It'll be 55 degrees tonight in Idaho Falls, 54 degrees tonight in Rexburg, it'll be 58 degrees tonight in Blackfoot and across western Wyoming, generally seeing the 40s to even the 50s for this evening. Looking for that seven day forecast, the heat continues across the Snake River Plain this week. Across Pocatello, expect a high temperature of 95 degrees tomorrow with isolated storms possible. Looking ahead to the rest of the week, partly cloudy skies likely on Wednesday with the 90s continuing. Across Idaho Falls, expect a high temperature of 90 degrees today. Isolated storms possible tomorrow. A few clouds lingering into Wednesday. Across the Teton area, isolated storms are possible throughout the rest of the work week with sunny skies in the forecast for next weekend. Across the Central Mountains, expect a high temperature of 94 degrees today and 95 degrees tomorrow.